Hello mga ka-Alien, this is Sir DL and welcome to The Alien's Vlog. By the way, again, I would like to thank those people who keep on subscribing on my YouTube channel. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for giving giving good comments. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga nag-request. I hope I will be able to grant all your requests po sa mga topics na gusto po ninyo gawin ko po ng video presentation. Ngayon po, we will be having another math tutorials and I know you are all excited. Our math tutorial for today is all about integers. I hope you keep on subscribing, you keep on watching my videos, and I hope all the videos that I'm uploading are helping you a lot. Thank you everyone. Just watch this. Okay, I know all of you are excited. Let's go. Our topic for today is all about integers. The objectives of the lesson. Number one, discuss integers. Number two, identify the rules in integers. Number three, Perform the indicated operations on integers. And number four, explain the importance of integers. Are you all excited? Let's start. But be before we proceed to our main discussion, I would like to leave a quotation. It says here, Every time you subtract negative from your life, you make room for more positive. Always be positive, okay? Let's start. What are integers? Integers are positive and negative numbers including 0, like positive 5, negative 4, 0, negative 3, negative 2, and negative 1. It is very important for us to learn and understand integers because this will help us in order for us to solve complicated topics in the future. Integers are very important in life, like in temperature, you encounter negative integers and positive integers including 0. So for today, I'll be helping you on how to solve the operations of integers. Let's start with addition of integers. So we have different rules in terms of addition of integers. What are those rules? Number one, if the signs are the same, add and follow the sign. Again, if the signs are the same, we just need to add and follow the sign. Number two, if the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. Again, if the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. So those are the rules that we will be following in order for us to solve for the addition of integers. Let's try to have an example. Again, these are the rules. Number one, if the signs are the same, add and follow the sign. Number two, if the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. Let's start with the first example, 5 plus 6. Positive 5 plus positive 6, it means we have the same signs. What are we going to do? Very good. We add and follow the sign because we have the same sign. That's why we will be adding the numbers or the integers. Then we will be following the sign. 5, positive 5, plus positive 6, that is positive 11. Very good. The next one. We have negative 3 plus 2. Do we have the same number or do we have the same signs? We do not have. That's why we will be using rule number 2. If the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. What is 3 minus 2? That is 1. Very good. The answer is negative 1. Why negative? Because negative 3 has the higher absolute value as compared to 2. That's why the answer is negative 1. Let's have example number 3. 4 plus negative 1. So we have unlike signs. What are we going to do? Are we going to, to follow rule number 1 or rule number 2? Very good. We are going to follow rule number 2 because if the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. So we subtract 4 minus 1. That's 3. Very good. Is it positive or negative? The answer is positive 3 because 4 has the higher absolute value as compared to negative 1. Next example. Negative 2 plus negative 7. Do we have the same sign? Very good. We have the same sign. So we will be, we will be following rule number one. 
If the signs are the same, we add and follow the sign. What is negative 2 plus negative 7? That is negative 9. We add then follow the sign. Last example for addition of integers. 8 plus negative 10. Do we have the same sign? No, we don't have. That's why we are going to follow rule number rule number 2. Very good. If the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. What is 10 minus 8? That's 2. Very good. The answer is negative 2 because negative 10 has the higher absolute value as compared to positive 8. Very good. We only have two rules for addition of integers. Again, first one, if the signs are the same, add and follow the sign. Number two, if the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. Very good. Okay, let's now move on to subtraction of integers. What are the rules to be followed? Number one, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Again, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Number two, if the signs are the same, add and follow the sign, just like what we did a while ago. Number three, if the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. That as easy as that. Let's now try to apply the rules of subtraction of integers. Again, number one, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. If the signs are the same, add and follow the sign. If the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. Let's try to apply the rules based on the given example. Positive 6 minus positive 10 was the answer. Let's try to apply the rule first. Change the sign of the subtrahend. So from positive, positive 10, it becomes negative 10. Very good. Then we proceed to addition rule. Again, from positive 10, it becomes negative 10. Then from negative or from minus or subtract, we proceed to addition. Now, do we have the same sign? No, we don't have. So what are we going to do? We will be following rule number three. If the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. 10 minus 6, that's 4. What is our answer, positive or negative? Very good, negative 4 because negative 10 has the higher absolute value. Let's move on on the next example. Positive 7 minus positive 4. What is our rule? Change the sign of the subtrahend. So from positive, it becomes negative 4. Then from subtraction, it becomes addition. Very good. So we have 7 plus negative 4. We have unlike signs. So what are we going to do? We will be following rule number 3. Very good. If the signs are not the same, subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. So we have 7 minus 4. That is 3. Very good. So the answer is positive 3 because 7 has the higher absolute value. Very good. I hope you are learning. Let's move on. I would like you to try this one. Negative 5 minus 2 or positive 2. So our first rule, change the sign of the subtrahend. So negative 5 from positive 2, it becomes negative 2. So from minus, we will be adding them. That's our rule. So negative 5 minus negative 2, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Very good. Do we have the same sign? Yes, we have. So we will be following rule number 2. If the signs are the same, add and follow the sign. Negative 5 plus negative 2, that is negative 7. As simple as that. Example number 4. 10 minus negative 8. 10 minus negative 8. Our first rule, change the sign of the subtrahend. Then proceed to addition. 
So from negative 8, change the sign of the subtrahend, it becomes positive 8. From subtraction, we move on to addition. So 10 plus 8, we have the same sign, so we are going to add them, then follow the sign. 10 plus 8, that is positive 18. The last example for subtraction of integers. Negative 9 minus negative 3. Our, what, what is our first rule? Very good. Change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. So from negative 3, it becomes positive 3. From subtraction, we move on to addition because that is our rule. That is the rule of integers. Now, let's try to identify. We have unlike signs. Negative 9 plus 3. So what are we going to do? Let's follow the rule number 3. If the signs are not the same, we subtract and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. As simple as that. So 9 minus 3, that is 6. Very good. What is our what is our sign? Positive or negative? Negative because negative 9 has the higher or has higher absolute value as compared to positive 3. Very good. So those are the rules in subtraction of integers. Number 1, change the sign of the subtrahend, then proceed to addition. Number 2, if the signs are the same, we add and follow the sign. Number three, if the signs are not the same, we subtract them and follow the sign of the higher absolute value. I hope you get it. I hope you understand it. Okay. So we're finished with subtraction of integers. Let's move on to multiplication of integers. What are the rules to be followed? Number one, if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. As simple as that. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Let's try to apply the following rules on the given examples. Again, these are the rules. Number one, if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Very good. Let's try to answer number one. Positive five times positive four. We have... Very good. Positive 20 because we have the same sign. That's why the answer is positive. Very good. Next, negative 3 times positive 2. What is the rule to be followed? So rule number rule number 2. Very good because the signs are not the same. That's why the answer is negative 6. I hope you got it. Next one, 4 times negative 1. 4 times negative 1. What is the rule to be followed? Rule number? Rule number 2. You, you got it right. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. That's why 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4. Very good. I hope you are learning. Next example, we have negative 2 times negative 6. What is the rule to be followed? Rule number? Rule number one, very good. Rule number one, because we have the same sign. If the signs are the same, what's the answer? Positive. So the answer will be positive 12. You got it right. You got it right. The last example for multiplication of integers. 3 multiplied by negative 10. Do we have the same sign? No, we don't have. So what rule are we going to follow? Rule number Rule number 2, very good. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. So 3 times negative 10, the answer is negative 30. Very good. So those are the rules to be followed on multiplication of integers. First one, if the signs are the same, the answer is always positive. So if the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Very good. I hope you got it and you understand it. Okay, we're now finished with multiplication of integers. Let's move on to division of integers. What are the rules to be followed? First one, if the signs are the same, the answer is positive. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Very good. What did you notice? I hope you observe. 
Nice observation. Division and multiplication of integers have the same rule. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. And if the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Okay, let's try to apply the following rules of division of integers on the given examples. Number one, eight divided by four. Are we going to follow rule number one or rule number two? Very good, we are going to follow rule number one. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. That is eight divided by four, the answer is positive two because we have same signs. Very good. Next, nine divided by three or nine divided by negative three. What rule are we going to follow? Rule number, rule number two, very good. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Very good. That is nine, positive nine divided by negative three. The answer is negative three because we have unlike signs. Very good. Because the signs are not the same. Let's try to move on to the next example. Negative four divided by negative four. Do we have the same signs? Yes, we have. So what are we going to follow? Rule number? Rule number one. Very good. Negative four divided by negative four. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive one. Very good. Next. What is negative 12 divided by six? Negative 12 divided by six. We have the similar or not the same signs. The signs are not the same. So the following rule that we are going to follow is Rule number, rule number two, very good. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. So negative 12 divided by six, that is negative two. Very good. That's example for today. Neg 25 divided by negative five. 25 divided by negative five. What rule are we going to follow? Rule number, rule number two, very good. If the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. So 25 divided by negative 5. The answer is negative 5. Very good. You are great. Thank you. I hope you understood the rules in integers. Rules of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of integers. Very good. Again, the rules for division of integers are number 1. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Number two, if the signs are not the same, the answer is negative. Thank you. I hope you understood everything. So to end up with my discussion, I would like to encourage everyone, always remember that doing your best is better than being the best. Just do your best and I know you will be successful in the future. Always remember that doing your best is better than being the best. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. You keep subscribing. You keep sharing this video. If you learned something, you share this to other people. And I hope this tutorial helped you a lot with your mathematics anxieties. Do you sir DL? And thank you for watching. Keep subscribing. God bless you all. God loves you. Always remember that. Thank you.